Hello, assalamualaikum everyone. So today we are going to continue our lesson, okay, for chapter two point zero internet technology. All right, we have learned the basic concept of network, okay, two weeks ago, and just last week we've learned two point two network architecture, and for this week we are going to have a look at two point three classification of network. All right. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain classification of network, which is LAN and WAN, right? And you will also be able to differentiate among local area network and wide area network based on area of coverage, right? So table of contents for this lesson, okay? You have three. The first one is local area network where we will have a look at the definition and advantages and disadvantages of local area network. And second content is wide area network, where we will cover definition and advantages and disadvantages of the network. And lastly, type of wide area network, where we'll cover enterprise private network, also virtual private network, right? So network classification, there are three network classification. Okay, the first one we have LAN, okay, which is local area network. The second one we have MAN, which is metropolitan area network. And lastly, we have WAN, which is wide area network. For this lesson, okay, we are going to have a look at WAN and LAN, all right? So the main differentiation among this classification is the area of coverage, all right? Let's have a look at the first one, which is non-local area network, all right? So local area network is a network that connects computers and devices in a limited geographical area, such as home, school computer lab, Okay, office building or closely positioned group buildings. All right, it is a network which consists of less than 500 interconnected devices across several buildings. Okay, so the computers or devices in LAN are usually connected via cables. Okay, so the simplest form of LAN is to connect two computers together. Okay, that's the simplest form of LAN, okay? So LAN is using cables, all right? We also have the wireless local area network. The wireless local area network, WLAN, okay? It is a wireless connection that connects two or more devices in LAN. Okay, so WLAN uses access points and routers to make connection between devices. So Wi-Fi is an example of WLAN, where devices are connected wirelessly within a limited range. So WLAN is made within home, office building, computer lab, school building, or any college campus. So for using Wi-Fi, users need to enter a password for making a connection to the internet. So the Wi-Fi connection is made either by using mobile hotspots or by using a wireless modem or wireless router. Okay, so this wireless local area network, LAN, is expensive. Okay, compared to LAN, WLAN is expensive. Okay, WLAN also can be attacked by hackers and the information can be stolen. Okay, since it is wireless. Okay, due to the wireless connection, okay, so WLAN connection is affected by bad weather or signal problems. Compared to LAN, the connection can be interrupted by using low quality wires. So for solving weak signals in WLAN, we have to use repeaters that enhance the signals. Okay, that is wireless local area network. Okay, now let's have a look at the characteristics of local area network. Okay, the first one, okay, local area network, okay, covers limited geographical area. Okay, it is a private network and has a relatively high speed network. Okay, 
it also has a higher data transfer rate due to the coverage okay because it has a small coverage so it has higher data transfer rate all right and lastly it can okay may connect it to other LAN or one what wide area network using a router okay so that is the characteristic of local area network okay next let's have a look at the advantages and disadvantages of local area network okay the first advantages of local area network is it is easy to share devices so all the resources are attached to one network and if any computer needs any resources then it can be shared with the required computers so the types of resources for example dvd drive printers scanners modems and hard drives so there is no need to purchase separate resources for each computer and it saves cost right next advantage is, is it is easy to share data okay so data can be shared across the network for example okay this would allow several people to work on the same project so the setting up of hierarchical system passwords to allow different users different access is the key to control access to most company database next is it is low setup cost okay it is relatively cheap to have as it tends to require less hassle to set up and less advanced infrastructure to keep it running okay to maintain it okay next is it is easy fast time saving communication so in line computers can exchange data and messages in the easy and fast way why because every user can share messages and data with any user on LAN. all right so that is the advantages of local area network now let's have a look at these advantages of local area network so the first one is LAN has lack of security and privacy meaning that if the server computer is not set up correctly there is a leak in security then unauthorized user can access the data too okay so there should be a privacy policy and rules set up correctly a network security can also be a problem meaning that if a virus gets into one computer it is likely to spread quickly across the network because it will get into the central packing store all right next it is lack of privacy meaning that the LAN admin can check personal data files of every LAN user so it does not offer good privacy all right next is low access speed okay meaning that when a lot of terminals are served by only one or two printers okay long print queues may develop okay it can cause people to have to wait for printed output all right and lastly is area covered is limited why because local area network are usually made within a building or nearby building and cannot extend it to a wider area all right so that is the disadvantages of local area network all right next is wide area network so wide area network is a network that covers a large geographical area such as city country or the world using a communication channel Okay, it can combine many types of media such as telephone lines, cables, and radio waves. So the internet is the largest one. All right. So these are the characteristics of wide area network one. Okay, the first one it covers a large geographical area. Okay, so one are used to connect lines and other types of network together. Okay next is many ones are built for one particular organization and are private using public network internet okay and lastly it is built by internet service providers and no ownership okay unlike LAN okay LAN is 
owned by this organization itself. Okay, however, for one, there is no ownership. All right, let's have a look at the advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so the first advantages of wide area network is that it is, can increase efficiency meaning that everyone on the network can use the same data. So this can avoid problems where some users may have all the information than others. Okay, so messages also can be sent quickly to anyone else on the network. So these messages can have pictures, sound or data included with the attachment. So, uh, Next, let's have a look. Okay, the first advantages of wide area network is increased efficiency. So meaning that everyone on the network can use the same data. So these can avoid problems where some users may have all the information than others. All right, so messages too can be sent quickly to anyone else on the network, right? Next is easy of communications, meaning that one can help you to cover a larger geographical area. Therefore, business offices situated at longer distances can easily communicate between each other. All right, let's have a look at the next advantages, which is private sharing of data and information. All right, so that is the advantages of wide area network. Next is disadvantages of wide area network. The first one is security problem. Okay, security problem meaning that one needs a strong mechanism to protect resources against hackers and viruses, right? Next is high cost. High cost, why? Because the initial setup cost of one is very high, right? Lastly is maintenance okay difficult to maintain okay the maintenance problem so if there's a maintenance problems okay large enterprises will dedicate personnel to maintain their one so it is difficult to maintain the one network because it needed a skilled technicians and network administrators okay as it requires more time to resolve issues because of the involvement of multiple wired and wireless technology all right so that is advantages and disadvantages of wide area network right okay this is the last content of this lesson which is type of wide area network okay so there are two type of one okay the first one is enterprise private network okay which is epn so epn is a computer network that helps enterprise companies with a number of different offices connect those offices to each in a secure way over a network so this is mainly set up to share computer resources right next type of one is virtual private network which is vpn so vpn provide companies with a secure connection to the company network server so this vpn helps to ensure that transmitted data is safe from being intercepted by unauthorized people okay that is the second type of one okay now let's have a try okay we have here Right, the first picture is a bank network that consists of many branches located throughout the country or the world. So, which classification of network is it? Is it LAN or is it one? It is one. All right, 